Dear you sexy internet travelers, Bailey here, and today we are back after the sixth installment of Kuzu no Honkai, so let's dive in! Now this episode isn't quite as intense as the previous one, and I feel that this episode is very much transitionary. Up to this point, what we have been experiencing is the escalating collapse of everyone's emotional states. In last episode, I think we reached the peak of that with Hanabi learning that Minagawa had indeed wargle smargled Kanai's happy stick. And I feel that with this episode, everyone is now accurately reflecting the name Scum's Wish. And from here on out, I think we will definitely see an escalation of scumbaggery from everyone. The episode starts off with proving that Minagawa wasn't lying when she said she had sex with Kanai. Like the US election, that actually just happened. Hanabi reflects on Minagawa having sex with Kanai and is frustrated in knowing that Minagawa has zero interest in Kanai. And this theme of entitlement persists throughout the episode with Hanabi taking the first definitive actions towards becoming like Minagawa and becoming better than her so that she may rob her of what she feels was stolen from her. However, Hanabi quickly realizes that her and Minagawa are intrinsically different. Hanabi empathizes with others and despite trying to take advantage of them, she does feel this guilt that is constantly lurking in the shadows. Now Minagawa, on the other hand, she doesn't have this problem. She has this extremely high sense of self-worth and therefore feels entitled to do whatever she wants with the emotions of those around her, and she quite frankly is a textbook case of narcissism. And if you aren't familiar with the traits of narcissism, I encourage you to look it up, it will really give you a deeper appreciation of her character. Now this episode also looks at the consequences of Hanabi's relationship with Echon, and with this episode my liking of Echon was very quickly flying out the window, with her straight up fondling Hanabi in the library, as well as completely exploiting Hanabi's emotional fragility. Though the interesting thing here is that both Echon and Mugi are seeing straight through exactly what Hanabi is trying to do, exploiting men for the affection. And Echon doesn't care. She gives her advice on how to go about it in the form of saying to just put up a facade that they will fall in love with. And unfortunately, I think this is probably something that occurs far too often in reality. I have a default personality I use when I talk to people I'm interested in, and it's something I do subconsciously, and it's deceitful, and it's manipulative, and it makes me a piece of shit. However, I don't think I am a particularly special or unique person, so therefore, I would expect that this is a trait with other people. So in that regard, I think this episode is a bit of a haunting depiction of a rare reality, or even maybe a common reality. Additionally, it's quite depressing in showing what could have been. Hanabi asks Mugi if he would like to start dating for real, and he agrees to this, only to realize that Hanabi is just trying to exploit men's affection. But when this occurs to him, it's very clear that dating Hanabi was something that was at least somewhat important to him, as he is distressed and pondering whether or not Hanabi is cheating on him. And this is so depressing because it shows that this relationship might have worked had Hanabi wanted it to. He cared about the relationship, and he was even assessing the affection of her kiss, so it's clear that he wanted it to go somewhere, but he realizes this and he phrases his thoughts harshly as, my tramp detector was going off like crazy. Noriko comes along and expresses to him that Hanabi doesn't care about him, and Noriko knows he doesn't care about Hanabi, and then questions why then can't she be the one whom Mugi dates, and shockingly, he agrees to this, and this instantly evokes tears from Noriko, and these I don't think are tears of joy, alright? I think these are without a doubt tears of sadness. Mugi so apathetically agreed to this date that he made it clear to her how much he doesn't care about her, but this leaves us wondering how Hanabi will react next up episode to her losing possession over Mugi. I think from here on out we are really going to start seeing the entirety of the name Scum's Wish and I cannot wait to see how corrupt this is going to become. If you enjoyed this review, please share, like, and subscribe. I also made a Kuzuno Honkai MV, I'm really proud of it, so if that's something you're interested in, I'd be thrilled if you'd check it out. And as always, stay sexy, internet travelers!